Good morning, Pastor Keith Hodges here, and I want to welcome you to the Fruitful Five, five minutes that will empower and equip you to live a fruitful life for Jesus Christ. This morning, I want to talk to you about the topic of the big picture. Uh, and I want to ask you today, do you have a big picture for your life? Is there a dream or a revelation of what God's purpose and plan is for your life? Because if you don't have a big picture, you're going to struggle consistently in finding the clarity and the direction that God has for your life. Now, let me just give you a couple of scriptures. In uh, Genesis chapter 37, verse 6, and Genesis 37, verse 9, we're reading the story of Joseph. And uh, Joseph was a dreamer. And I love what the Bible says in verse 6 of Genesis 37. It says, And so he said to them, Please hear the dream which I have dreamed. So Joseph had a dream. And I want you to understand, Joseph just didn't have a dream. He had God's dream. God had divinely downloaded into his heart uh, this picture of what he wanted to do. God gave Joseph a big picture. He gave him a revelation of what he wanted to do in his life. And then verse 9 says this, And then he dreamed still another dream, and he told it to his brothers. He said, Look, I have dreamed another dream, and this time the sun and the moon and the eleven stars bowed down to me. I want you to understand, when you think about the life of Joseph, I want you to think about not only the difficulty and the challenges and the obstacles that he's faced, but he went through uh, unbelievable uh, opposition to his dream. His dream, which God gave him, was a big picture. God showed him a revelation of what was to come, that one day his father's mother and his brothers would bow down before him, that he would be exalted to a place of authority and power and dominion. But you know what had to happen? Joseph had to hold on to that dream. Joseph had to have a big picture because it was that big picture that God gave him that allowed him to persevere through the difficult times in his life when he was sold into slavery by his brothers and betrayed, when he went to Potiphar's house and Potiphar's wife lied about, lied about him and he ended up being sent into prison, and when he was in prison and, and the butcher and the baker forgot about him. Think about that for just a minute. Joseph endured great hostility toward his dream, but yet Joseph stayed the course. How did Joseph stay the course? I believe Joseph stayed the course because he had a big picture. He had a dream or a big picture of what God wanted to do in his life. And I want to ask you a question this morning. What's your dream? What's the big picture? What is it that you're striving for? What is it that you're working for? What is it that you're pursuing this morning? The Bible says in Proverbs 29, verse 18, that where there is no vision, the people perish. The New King James Version says they cast off Restraint. The revelation this morning is simply this. If you don't have a big picture of what God's wanting to do in your life, of where you're wanting to go in your life, of the future that God has planned for you, then here's the problem. You're going to cast off restraint. There's no restraint. There's no discipline. There's no purpose. Uh, there's no challenges that you have to rise to if you're not going anywhere, right? If you're not going anywhere, then any road will take you there. If you're not going anywhere, then it doesn't matter what you do or when you do it. It doesn't matter what time you get out of bed. It doesn't matter any of the disciplines that you have in your life because you're not going anywhere. But how many of you understand, once you have a destination, once you get a big picture of your life, then all of a sudden that big picture creates some parameters in your life and it begins to focus you. And if you ever looked at, the, at a picture of the earth on the internet, if you zoom way out where you can see the whole earth, it's amazing. You get a big picture of this is where I live, this is where I have uh, I'm put down my roots, so to speak. But what's amazing is, is that once you have that big picture of the earth, and you begin to zoom in, the closer you get to that big picture, the more details come into focus. And the same is true in our life. If you don't have a big picture, then you have nothing to, quote, zoom into. You have nothing to focus your attention on. And until you set your heart on that thing, the Bible says of Jesus that there came a point in his ministry when he set his face toward Jerusalem. Why? Because he knew the cross was his ultimate earthly destination. That's why he was born. He said, I was born to die, and he knew that. And because of that big picture of the cross, but not only of the cross, but of the revel of the resurrection and his ascension, Jesus actually tells us that for the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross and its shame. How did he do that? He had a big picture. He knew what awaited him. He knew that on the other side of the cross was the resurrection. On the other side of the resurrection was his ascension to the right hand of God the Father, that where he would seat and be waited until his enemies became his footstool. Jesus had a big picture, and because of that big picture, he endured and he focused his attention 
on the prize that God had for him. Joseph had a big picture. Because Joseph had a big picture, he was able to endure controversy and difficulty, obstacles and problems and persecutions, and he was able to focus his life on the thing that honored God. And ultimately, Joseph and Jesus fulfilled the dream of God for their life. Why? Because they held on. I want to encourage you this morning. Ask God to give you a revelation. Begin to to lift your eyes over the horizon and say, God, what are you calling me to? Where do you want me to go? What do you want me to be? And help me to get a big picture. Let me get a dream and a vision in my heart of what you want to do in my life. And then begin to allow that, that dream to zoom you in to the details that God wants to work in your life. God bless you today as you grab hold of God's big picture and as you zoom in to his purpose for you today. Have a great day in the Lord. Amen.